Tonight, at least one debate showdown now set between former President Trump and Vice President Harris for September 10th. With Trump announcing in a news conference, he's also accepted debate invitations from two more networks and challenged Harris to commit as well. We'd like to do three debates. We think we should do three debates. Harris telling NBC's Shaquille Brewster she is committed to just one. Will you be participating in all three? I have always been on record. I am looking forward to debating Donald Trump. And we have a date of September 10th. I hear he is finally committed to it. I'm looking forward to it. What about the other two? Let's make sure we get this. Trump tonight also criticizing the vice president for not holding any news conferences or sit-down interviews in the 18 days since President Biden stepped aside. She should be doing interviews. She doesn't want to do interviews. And the reason she doesn't is, number one, her policies are so bad. A Harris aide told NBC News Harris and running mate Tim Waltz would like to do a joint interview, quote, in a few weeks. While Trump was also asked about abortion rights, repeating his false claim most Americans wanted Roe v. Wade overturned, when polls show the opposite. I think the abortion issue has been uh, taken down many notches. I don't think it's of, uh, I don't think it's a big factor anymore, really. We brought it back to the states. Everybody wanted it in the states. Today, Harrison Walls in Michigan meeting union voters, part of a five-day battleground barn store. You know, when you know what you stand for, you know what to fight for. A new CNBC poll shows Trump leading Harris nationally by two points, within the margin of error, the same slim lead he had over President Biden. But Democratic enthusiasm has spiked. 81% of Democrats now satisfied with Harris as their nominee, compared to 33% who were satisfied with Biden. To what do you attribute her rising in the polls as becoming a more competitive race since she's taken over for well, Biden? Well, uh, she's a woman. She represents certain groups of people. But I, I will say this, when people find out about her, I think she'll be much less. And Garrett, tonight you have some new reporting on the Trump campaign strategy. That's right, Lester. The Trump campaign is still very confident in this race. They believe that Harris's recent surge has been a sugar high, fueled entirely by Democrats who had soured on President Biden coming home to Harris. They believe her record will ultimately disqualify her with the independent voters she needs to win this election. Lester. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.